and we are going to ignore that call as well. So we'll back out here. Uh, we are back at the home screen, page one of the home screen. If I swipe left, I guess that would be a, a right swipe technically, but if we get to the leftmost panel here, uh, we have the Spotlight application, which is of course new for 3.0. And here I can search all the content on the device. So for example, um, if I type G-A-R-E-T-H, search, uh, it's going to bring up all of the, uh, the content on the, on the iPhone that has the word Gareth in it. Um, I, and I have a, uh, a um, song by Gareth Emery on this, this iPhone, and I also have a number of his podcasts as well. So these all appear. I can swipe through these, and I can tap on it. To, uh, to go directly to that content. And that tap motion works for any content, not just, uh, not just music. So we're gonna back out again. So, uh, so that's about it for the Spotlight application and the first page of the, uh, of the, uh, of the home screen, the springboard. If I go into notes here, We'll create a new note, and we'll take a look at the copy-paste functionality. So this is actually pretty easy to use. So we're going to double tap on the on the text. Uh, it brings up a bubble that allows me to select the entire line or just that word, and then we have. Uh, small blue circles here to indicate the beginning and end of the selection. So I can drag these and in doing so a small bubble appears above the text that gives me a better view of what I'm selecting. And once I have what I want, I have options to cut or to copy. So we'll do copy here. And double tap again. Uh, and now I'm going to choose paste, and that gets inserted pretty straightforward. Now this is, uh, I'm not sure how I feel yet about this, uh, this undo functionality, which appears to be a little difficult to trigger uh, in this firmware. I'm hoping that ma they make that a little bit more sensitive in, in, a, in a future release. Uh, it, it gives me the option to undo the paste that I just performed. If I type and do this, Instead of saying undo, pa uh, uh, excuse me, undo paste, it says undo typing. But the uh, the behavior is essentially the same there. So that's undo and copy and paste. If we go into the stocks application, we can go landscape to get in uh, get a larger view of the chart. Nothing too incredible there. Nothing uh, that couldn't easily be duplicated by something uh, you download from the App Store, but nice to have that built in nonetheless. Well, maybe not these days, but in a normal economic climate, it's a nice thing to have. So we'll get out of there. If we, uh, if we go into Mail here, at the top, you have, um, I'm going to cancel out of here. It looks like email just crashed, actually, which uh, is one of the perils of having a beta firmware. But uh, so this works a little bit like um, this works a little bit like the browser in that you have a list with a um, a text input bar permanently fixed to the top of that list. So you normally don't see it when you're scrolling through here. Only when you get to the top do you actually see that that input field. So I'm going to tap on that. And that's going to expand my options here. So that's the uh, the search bar at the top, and then below that, I'm choosing which field of email that I'm searching. I can choose from from to subject or all fields. So if I type Josh, we're going to get uh, an email from Josh Topolsky there. Other than that, not much to it. Say. Uh, it's a nice drill down from the spotlight functionality that you have from the home screen, which also searches email.
if we go into the uh, the phone application, uh, voicemail now lists uh, locations for numbers that you don't have entered and the phone number type that called for numbers that you do. So that's a nice, very minor addition obviously, but a nice addition nonetheless. And that's about it for iPhone 3.0.